What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Tide War. Let's play as Great Britain. And the eagle-eyed amongst you will realise this isn't the same battle as we left off with. And that's because I got most of the way through recording this episode and it crashed. So I had to revert, but I didn't save it exactly this point. So I had to refight this original battle and I didn't destroy this, the same things in the same amounts. And they all scattered in different directions. So this is as close as we're going to get um, to the original Engagement, but here we are. Uh, the enemy force is mostly cavalry with a handful of infantry units. So we're going to deploy our artillery and advance forward. But we're very, very close to finishing this campaign. And so when... Depending on how things go, it might even be this episode. Because I think we've got this fight. The battle against Persia. And we've also got Zahedan to capture... Malta needs capturing, and so do the Black the Black Hills territory also needs capturing. But most of them don't actually have significant numbers of troops, so they'll be fairly quick engagements. Deploy all my guns in one mighty line because we're not going to be. The enemy force is mostly cavalry that's coming in, so I don't. We're not going to have that many issues with it. Just spread my cavalry out on either flank. Guess get my general involved this time. But we're just going to push forward. Let my artillery do what they want to do. March my men forward. And march my cavalry forward. Because those chaps there are likely not going to last very long under concentrated artillery fire. My howitzers may end up actually limbering up because they've really not got uh, as much range. But I'm hoping that some of my guns, good, can open up on the on the uh, uh, camels here, push them back. So we might have to hold a position, hold an infantry unit in position to fire a volley to make sure they fall back. The enemy are now entering the field. So let's get my artillery to start attacking the mobile elements. My howitzers begin to limber up. General's making strong progress towards us. Now the infantry is starting to enter the field. So we're going to make make more steady progress while the camels and cavalry arrive. Actually, I might even run them up. Ooh, artillery shot coming in against the lancers. Uh, that unit on this unit here is okay because they can fire on the camels. Oh, the lancers, I should say. Well, the artillery is going to be is going to do a significant amount of damage to their morale. Camel nomads on the flank. Switch my artillery to aim at some of the camels coming in. Those camel nomads, they're shattered. I don't really want to move you guys because you're going to put some shots into these camels as they come in. I mean, these guys are, are interested in my cavalry, but my heavy cavalry will uh, protect my general's bodyguard from any shenanigans. Send my cavalry forward on the flank. Get my cavalry, or get my infantry on the move. My, ca the, my cavalry has been charged on the the left flank. There we go, that's what I wanted. But even though my cavalry got charged, do not worry. Heavy cavalry is pretty awesome. 
Lost control of my cavalry on the flank. Swiss line formed square. Run my sharpshooters away. My hussars can countercharge the native lancers. I mean, I'm not. Just charge my Swiss grenadiers into the general's bodyguard. The native lancers will not stick around for too long. Because they're being engaged by my cavalry anyway. The camels on the left are also going to have had enough. Yeah. Got my guards to engage the Kizilbashi. My howitzers are in position, so I'll limber them. Get my Swiss line out. Enemy general's been killed. There, because his unit is routing. Let's get my sharpshooters ahead of the line to pour an excellent volley into the flank of those Kizilbashi. Swiss line can spread out even further. Camels on the left have been broken, so push my cavalry up. They did lose a handful more than I'd like. But these devils. Charge my heavy cavalry in and charge my hussars in just to make sure that these units do not re-enter the field. Just get my artillery to focus on the camel gunners, my howitzers focus on the battlefield targets. Yeah, the light horse attack the bowmen there. <laughs> the army... Their army is being pushed back. Advance our line. Run my Swiss line up. Bring my heavy cavalry back. Get my hussars out of the way. So my sharpshooters haven't got a great angle against the camel gunners. But it's enough of an angle. And they've got enough support that they're broken anyway. Where's my light cavalry? Get my light cavalry to engage. Chase down the camel gunners because they are very slow. Advance up the flank. Maintain the pressure on the left. Heavy cavalry, get them to just trot along. Don't have to chase down the camels. My lights can do that. And the actual infantry here are doing fantastic work against the enemy. My feline musketeers are never going to stand against proper drilled infantry. I mean, these units have lost not very many men at all, and they're already wavering. But now the artillery is starting to factor in. The 87th on the flank as well are also ready. Oh no, actually. I've got to send in someone. Get my engineers to help. They fired at max range, that's going to help. Well, I don't get my cavalry involved, actually. Get my engineers in there, because they're also melee troops and love a scrap. Okay, there we go. Kizilbashi trying to attack my cavalry on the flank, so push them around. She might get my light coverage to run up here and knock out their 24 pounders once and for all. Camel gunners are shattered, send my cavalry to also attack the camel gunners. Get my engineers back. Oh, I don't mean to double click. Get all my artillery to engage the enemy. I mean, this is a very 
very blunt formation here. Ceasefire. Oh, you're lucky no one's ready. Unit took some hits from friendly fire. Yeah, we could continue and mop up, but there's not really any point. The end of the Persian Empire is nearly here. So let's destroy that force, and that weak force has fallen back to the capital. So we've still got our main force down here with the first Iron Brewers, as that has been implemented. Let's just clump some of these units together. Again, these units are a bit depleted. Let's move Miss Hutchinson forward and out of the way a bit. Ah, oh, okay. They're going to go this way. Okay, well they're going to move up to attack the um, the city from the south. Got a couple of armies back here, but fundamentally they aren't actually needed. Yeah, Mr. Jules Bertie is going to attack Zahedon. Again, that'll be a very quick action. So Robin Peterson... We're going to send you back to the Americas. This force under Ridley Dawes. If I scuffle the ship, does it automatically get rid of the army? Good. I do wonder if it, if it would do any weird shenanigans like teleport armies. But let's get rid of that army as well. Alexander Croucher. Yes, that's, a, that's something we could use. Jasper Hartley. Lots of these forces are going to sail, well they're going to loiter off the coast in uh, North America and wait to attack uh, the Plains Nation peoples as well. So you've also got Malta, we've obviously already fought this a couple of times. Yeah, that's not worth an assault at this stage. Valletta has been secured, Vincent Bristow is the governor. There's not much point in me upgrading anything. So again, we're going to leave Russia because that'll ruin the campaign. But we've already, I've already played an episode, or yeah, I've played an episode where we actually continue that attack. I'm not going to go around and dismantle and disband all of my other armies. I'm only going to really focus on the ones I'm interested in, and that's going to be getting Mr. Patterson up to Esfahan to attack the city, because that will also cause these chaps to be destroyed. So let's hit N10. Yep, armies on the move. <laughs> Armies on the move. Yes, there's only a two actually two proper engagements to fight, really. And the end turn phases will become a lot shorter once we get rid of Persia. So yeah, they they've got a couple of armies left, but the campaign is over. The mission is to take the city. It looks like they're gathering their forces. Okay, they've just made room in the capital. Oh, I see. So these chaps have moved. If they've run out of movement points, we might be able just to move past them. It looks like they have run out of movement points, which means they will not support. Now they have support, so they're going to come in from right behind us. Eh, it's only our gunners that'll be left behind. I am going to fight this, I just want to move some armies around us. Sadly, I don't think, if we do that, I don't think that cancels them out. No. I was curious if, if it would recalculate the um, the movement required to get into the battle. Hmm. Either way. Uh, <laughs> new town emerges. Dover! Shout out Dover, Pennsylvania. Um, but we can take our named force and attack the Persian capital if they wish to send in Feline troops to try and interfere with our attack so be it but the city will fall and I, I very much suspect that we will um, continue to see we will continue to see the uh, the enemy falling in significant numbers as they try and attempt our armies attempt to stop our armies from marching into the city because right now we've got 
Their force is depleted, they've got some garrison units, but our force is strong. It's significantly balanced towards um, elite forces, which means we might technically put out a bit less firepower, but we're better in the melee and we stand for longer. So it's, it's, it's the same but different. Guns on the hill. So much so, actually, when we've got our breach, the heavy artillery, they might actually withdraw to avoid any issues. So we're going to want the Von Losbergs and the 1st and 2nd Royal Welsh to push one flank. Let's get the auction number one, the Admiral's Regiment and 1st and, um, Iron Brewers to attack another breach. We're going to put this regiment of line infantry and this regiment of sharpshooters may stay back to defend the guns. They've got uh, Royalfman's Royal Brigade plus Clan Makada plus the 95th Rifles are going to move in from the flank supported by the heavy cavalry including Charlie Scott's Greys. And we're also going to want to send a Swiss Pike unit through their own separate breach. Do they have mortars? Yeah, they do. And they're on the move. Let's get my all of my artillery to attack those mortars. Knocked out one of their guns. That's not bad. Yeah, because we've got these with these Howard units, we've got ten rather than usually six guns attacking the center and we've actually oh, we've lost a gun but we should have much more accuracy than regular artillery units so we may actually be able to do some good when it comes to counter battery although it looks like they've decided to pick their own targets now if that's the case work on, an on another way in. So let's speed up time. I pretty much want to knock through just lots of different gaps in the wall here. It's the 24 pounder guard artillery. They're not firing anymore are they? Nope. From a distance you can see the animation or lack thereof. Boom. This That unit's bugged so they're just not going to fire. And to be honest, it looks like they might actually not be... That's not a great target for them to shoot at, because they're going to be... Yeah, like the Mar Howitzers have done a much better job. In which case, then... So the reason why I want to protect these... How it, these um, this inf this uh, artillery, it's because it's actually really good, inf really good um, artillery. So I do want it to successfully escape... Because I will need it come the offensive elsewhere. So the mortars are on the move. Well, they were on the move. Now they are on the move. I mean, ideally, if it looks like they're going to walk out the gate. Yeah, reinforcements! We're going to do a bit of... Ooh, actually, this is right. This is in a really good direction. Advance the troops. We don't want the general. We could get actual infantry. That'd be really handy, actually. My pikemen will have a great time carving through most of these chaps. Good. Fortunately, my pikes will manage to get away ahead of the guns to prevent too much fratricide. General's bodyguard unit is scattered. 
So who else is coming in? Oh, right, one unit decided to decided they weren't going to run very well. So let's... Well, our pike is going to go straight in here. My howitzer is going to make a second breach on the right flank. Boom. Maybe focus your fire on the corner. So let's bring the first... The first iron brewers will be in... Will be the first ones through the breach there. It looks like though they really don't want to be lured away from the the flank. In which case then, we're going to go straight in. First iron brewers going to be up front. You men are going to be covering. Pikemen probably won't need as much support. Okay, the quick climb started, so you guys run. Okay, my artillery's gone to automatically attack the howitzers, and I'll allow it. So let's put the first and second Royal Welsh up on the wall. The von Losberg Hessian line will cover the breach here. We want to try and get these chaps to commit. You men charge the Kizilbashi because they've made themselves exposed. The first Iron Brewers. This isn't their first battle, but it is under, under the new command. I mean, very well, they're going to completely abandon that gate. We're going to ignore our original original um, objective to scale the wall, leave that to the likes of this Highlander warband to secure that section of the wall, 95th Rifles climb up this side, bring my Raw Brigade over here as well. There we go. So now we can create a bit of a a bit of breathing space. The von Losberg's advance towards the centre. My Highland Grenadiers are doing good work, but they are being bogged down. Those units form up. The first Royal Welsh also push to the right. So the clansmen can secure these stairways and fight the enemy while the rifles can get up here and ideally start to snipe inside the city. Von Losberg attack the bowmen because they have made themselves aware. The grenadiers are going to charge up the wall into the Kizilbashi. The grenadiers are doing very well but they're holding up a lot of men. That's their, that's their most valuable contribution at the moment. Get my Raw Brigade in here as well. Get my Heavy Cavalry in here. Get my General up here. The Von, uh, Von Losberg actually is upset. Probably due to Mortifier or how it's a fire. One or the other. to get my pikemen over to help the von Losberg. You men attack the bowmen. My pikemen ideally would be used to fight against the camels, but we do want to provide a bit of cover. Oh no, my rifles are using the same um, the same access way. Rifles! Make sure they get over here. My, my raw brigade Make sure they get in here. Artillery. Attack 24 pounders. They have left a gap in the line. There is the gates to the south. They're open.
my pikes can go and attack the camels. My Royal Brigade are going to push in. My Heavy Cavalry are going to fight the regular fight. Ah, they've caught on that my, my Cavalry were going to run in. We're just going to push them in anyway. My Rifles are enga being engaged in melee combat, which they do not want to be in. Pikemen chase down the Camels. Get these grenadiers to attack those camels. My raw regiment, my rifleman's raw brigade attack the feline musketeers here. My Highlander warband are doing good work against this unit of musketeers. Okay, it looks like the first iron brewer is getting chewed up, but they are making progress. But what I need is to see my... Okay, it's that foot artillery that's really not helping. Guns and cavalry straight through the middle. Get all this cavalry over here as well. Because they can run through, either through this gap here or just through the line. Heavy cavalry push through. First Royal Welsh are f retreating. Granted, they have lost a lot of men. Actually, you guys go on and attack the gunners, get the horse guards forward. No, it looks like you're going to attack the desert warriors as well. Horse guards attack the camel mercenaries. Get the Von Losberg forward to attack the guns on the flank. This regiment of horse can go and attack that unit of Feleen. Get my general involved. I mean, the central battle, the central square is just a bit chaotic. So who's that over here? More heavy cavalry. It's the general's bodyguard. It's Clan Makada. Yeah, you're still clearing out Feleen. You're advancing. You are making progress. Hit the camel mercenaries. Hit the rear of all these men fighting in the centre. Oh, the first, the first royal regiment. Yeah, they might have got um, wiped out. They might well have got wiped out. Heavy cavalry attack the general's bodyguard. Charlie Scott's greys are in here as well. To attack the cavalry. Get my general in the centre. There we go. So the horse guards are attacking the desert warriors to the rear of the breach. These two units can make for the breach as well. Heavy cavalry's in. The light dragoons can push back out. So the enemy reinforcements are probably going to come in from directly behind us, knowing my luck. Pikes attack the gates. You men attack there as well. Clan Makada is pushing along the wall. They are making progress, just not enough. My rifles are to the rear. One of them stuck in the wall, so they're never going to be any good. Where's Charlie Scott's Greys? Do, 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 do. Yeah, they're, ch they're attacking the men that have left the wall. So get the Von Lossbergs up here to secure the gate. The men fighting in the breach have been just utterly surrounded. Got heavy cavalry, horse guards chopping their way through. Got my marines are up front now. The Admiral's Regiment and the Auctions number one are in.
But I think it's going to uh, not matter a huge amount because... The square is ours. Yeah, so these men are going to secure the gate just to prevent any surprises from screwing us over too badly. We haven't had any actual enemy reinforcements come in yet, which is odd. They're starting to clear their way in. Taking down the camels. Should be what the Swiss pikemen are focusing on, really. Oh, there we go. The battle is over. The city is ours, and we need to see what the fate of the first um, Royal Welsh is. No, they've been destroyed. First Royal Welsh have been lost entirely. But they have been lost to take the city and end the war. So what we will do is we will take a unit of... I don't have any suitable grenadier... Fusiliers, fusiliers, fusiliers. Grenadier guards, we're going to nick one of yours. Because you're not going to need it, Mr. Wade. This is British Grenadier Guards, so you will be named the third Royal Welsh. What do they call it? Grenadier. 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 Regged. There we go. So you men can replenish and make your way to the coast. Another commander can have the honour of securing the city. You need to make your way back to the sea. You need to get rid of these universities because that's what will really upset them. So Hilario Huntsman, let's get rid of you. Julian Fellows, let's definitely get rid of you. George Wade, you had a fantastic... Oh, we've got to bring George Wade back. I'm going to pinch a Swiss Grenadier unit from Ian Stevenson. You fought bravely, but your force is now no longer required. Same with you, Mr. Dodd. Mr. Rabbit, you also did well, but your force is no longer needed. So many of these are actually Randall Bloodnock. He took Denmark. He is no longer needed. Mr. Ashton, you're definitely going to get involved just because I find it difficult to get rid of an army like that because it's full of really cool units. Sharky Stone, Sharkly Stonehouse. No, you're no longer needed despite being a field marshal. And Hadwin Charlton, you have also been useful but have proved surplus to requirements. And each army will be transported by a full naval fleet and well, this force here is a heathen I mean that's not no <laughs> take the city George Bertie that's another force we're not going to move him to America but he's not going to be disbanded Dominic's Tully the King's Royal Regiment of New York some of these armies I am content to uh, not disband but just not get rid of but I'm not going to bring them with me, but I'm going to just disband them. Um, okay. So we need to get these chaps down to the coast. And then we can... Someone's using a damn hammer, which I can't do anything about. Um, we're going to bring these armies to the coast, and then we're going to sail them over to India. So let's hit and turn. So we've still got plenty of troops around in the field. Um, but ultimately we don't need to get rid of them for any financial reasons. We can just ignore them for all intents and purposes. Persia's on strike. I mean, because we don't need them for cash, let's just exempt them from tax. Exempt them from tax, build some happiness buildings. Jareth Hutchinson, you're going to stay as the commander-in-chief of... 
Um, Esfahan. These forces converge. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. So I'm sailing. Ooh, come on. There we go. Sailing a couple of armies over to here just because it's a problem that we need to solve now. Let's just get get these troops over here. So you'll probably be advancing this force here at Texas um, North as well under Roland Nordell because he has been waiting his entire life for this. It's currently minus 10, but I think if we move all these Dragoons over here, that should help. Minus 8 if we exempt from tax. We're not going to push him now, we're just going to wait and see what happens. New town emerges. Kim in Karelia. Safe to say we're not going to be doing a lot of stuff around money. Good stuff. Let's hit and turn. Just leave these armies to finish their movement phase because we are not concerned about what they get up to. I mean, yeah. So I know Russia will continue to exist, but they will not be a, a force to worry about. Yeah, Texas, you're upset, but when all the Dragoons ride in, they love it. Okay. Repression plus 20 for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's just over two repression per Dragoon. It's not bad. So Mr. Nordell advance up to the border. And then these guys. There we go, they're all ready. So George Wade get embarked. Mr. Patterson get embarked. He's going to sail to the Madagascar Trade Theatre. Mr. Court, sail to the Americas as well. Then we've also got Tyrell Ashton, who's also re fully recruited. There we go. A fully armed fleet is on their way to America to knock out the last, the last um, force in the world. The last true army that actually... Um, that she stands against us, and here are our ministers, which we've safely forgotten about. <laughs> Although, upgrading the America's minister would be great. If we could replace it with Barnabas Newcomer, that would be usefully, very useful. But we're a constitutional monarchy, so we can't just drag him across. Oof. We have to uh, just boot him and see if he gets replaced. He gets replaced by someone else. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Um, you're going to continue to push up these ships that are on their way. They don't have to deploy their troops, really. They're just going to... Well, they're, not going, they're not going to advance ahead of the, the army, so it's going to take a couple of turns just to get them over here. But then we're not actually going to be taking very long to finish those turns. Cool. Mr. Croucher, Robin Peterson. Yes, sir. They're, they're the same portrait, except one is just zoomed in. <laughs> oh. yeah. Once these guys are finished moving, then that will really help. Got the force at Aguatuck, which we're going to keep where it is, because they aren't really... You don't really need to do anything there. Persia, they're on strike. Now they're okay. Especially now they've got two more coaching ins. They've probably got I don't know. I thought they might have a um, religious building somewhere, but they don't. Okay. <laughs> and turn again. So unfortunately, because we've got so few people in the world, it doesn't take that long to go through the end turn phase. It would be quicker if we didn't have Russia, but we can't get rid of Russia because that corrupts the save for whatever reason. There we go. Fleets arrive. Sell them over here with overwhelming force. I mean, I could probably stand to send some 
probably send some south then advance that from that direction but i don't think there's a real there's a real problem we're sending what's that six full stacks against the last native american faction Rigole. Rigole. Rigolette. I'm going, to, I'm going to call it Rigole. Yeah, they're all bumping up against each other. You can actually get a bit further. Okay. So you men combine. Always click on research. It's just a bit of a... <laughs> Bit of a habit. But let's get these armies deployed. Yeah, we're definitely going to end the, end the campaign in this episode. More construction, but by now almost everything should be done. There we go. So we could land them in the port and run them, but to be honest, it's not going to make that much difference. So George Wade is going to lead the charge. He's going to declare war. Yeah, George Wade will lead because he has the battlefield army. I mean, granted, he's probably not necessarily the best army. To fight off the Plains Nations peoples. Because um, if they do get to our lines, the Grenadiers are going to really be in trouble. But I don't think we have to worry about that at this stage. More construction. Good stuff. George Wade, lead the way. Everyone else will follow. Let's push these as these guys are ahead. Let's push them through the trees because they may have some hidden armies and gaps. No good. Mr. Nordell is going to stay here as kind of a magnet. See if you can draw any Plains Nation armies out of the territory to come get us. <laughs> For the mere cost of 650,000, which is really cheap because we've got well, nearly two and a half million, we can just end the campaign. No. We will bring, we will bring war to your lands. We will conquer this, the most westerly point in the world. Yeah, there's no point upgrading that. Cartwright in Montag, Mon in the Inuit territory. I don't know why I'm building any of this. Just have it. Okay. Everyone's got their orders. I may as well just hit enter and let them do it. Casper Edwards, who looks very familiar as an expert purser. Less morale, but his costs have gone down. George I is gaining some notoriety as well. So many troops on their way to the Plain Nations people. Yeah, there definitely might be an army that will intercept us, which would be wicked. Yeah, top tier roads. Natural causes, Roland. Oh no, he did not get to see the end. Very well, let's hire a Hessian grenadier to replace him. Clive Birchall. Little sergeant. Good on him. As everyone continues the advance. Oh, the, <laughs> the demand's gone up. That, that, assume, well, that makes me think that they're definitely recruiting more troops because if they're demanding more money they think the situation's got better and it's probably got better from them recruiting well they are recruiting like mad you can see it I'll oh, just send everyone in whoever gets intercepted first gets intercepted except for my named force Curtis Patterson you need to wait because that's the guy I want to attack the city with I'd send someone in to clear the way or get ambushed and then go take the city. We will take it. 
to Robin Peterson. I mean, will we be ambushed? Because we have been ambushed here before. Continue to push. We'll attack this force. It might draw in the... If they let us get to this point, we will use our named force to attack Kitsap and draw in the garrison. Then we'll probably take the city with someone else. But my money's really cranking up now. Three, nearly 300 crown a turn. Russia's not even having a go. Oh, the demand's gone down. Oh, they might have visibility on the actual amount of troops we've got coming into the area now. Wob wob. Okay, so... There are no traps. So next turn Curtis Patterson is going to advance and engage the enemy outside of the city. Robert Dodd, morally impaired and iron hand. C replaces you now. Oh god, Timothy Frath! Why didn't we bring you in earlier? Dear, dear, dear. Very well, Curtis. Actually, first of all, let's bring up my... The full firepower of the British Army. Now uh, advance. Should draw in the garrison, and it will. Good stuff. Let's destroy the last strength that the native factions have to fight against us. And even, even better if this is a river battle. Because then that will be such a slaughter. Such a delightful slaughter. Then we can march our fairly intact army across the river, attack the city, and then take it for ourselves. Ooh, come on, I want to see, is it a river battle? Ah, oh, regular one. Very well. Deploy the guns. Deploy all of my various grenadier units in the centre. Von Lossberg, Yorkshire number one, regiment of line, take position on the right flank. On the left, we have got just the Admiral's regiment. Clan Makada behind the guns. Let's put both of my skirmish units on the left to provide a bit of cover. Bulk of my cavalry, including Charlie Scott's Greys, because they can be a bit of a magnet for enemy cavalry units. Another heavy cavalry on the right flank. Pikes just behind the line. My other artillery unit behind the line lobbing around shot of range. Because you've got the initial wave. Then the reinforcements coming in. Oh, so much artillery. Cheyenne dog soldiers. Well, they look really cool. I have never seen them before. Lancers and Chief's Bodyguard. Very well. You're not aware of my skirmishes, sir. Including the glorious 95th. And they've lost nearly half their number. Push up the line. Let all my artillery stay firing round shot. Let's buy some depth. Okay, just put my grenadiers there. My light infantry. 
skirmish forward and start to see what kind of enemy we're dealing with. My howitzers will limber up and advance forward. Clan Makata, get running! Yeah, I just saw that. <laughs> they killed, killed two clansmen. I am sorry, laddie. <laughs> you fool! Send my cavalry forward, get my skirmishers up front. Never normally do that because it seems a bit... I don't know. I don't know what it just seems like. It just never seems to be a good idea. Who's this on the flank? Mounted tribal gunners and Native American lancers. Let's get my cavalry there to draw them in. Because they're pushing on the on the right. And now I like having melee infantry behind the centre of my line. Send forward little Charlie's light dragoons. Fire at will on. Go on the 95th. Skirmish those tribal gunners. Got your bayonets on, that's bold of you. Kill the enemy. What if they kill you first? <laughs> Let's get my one unit of howitzers to skirt around that gunner. pick new targets. It looks like they might actually not want to come in. Oh no, there they are. Full back skirmishes. Heavy cavalry attack the tribal gunners. They fired off their volley, so they should now be exposed. Heavy cavalry up here. Oh, volley fire present. Oh, okay. They just want to shoot and scoot, eh? Grenadiers in. War is sight is getting involved. No, but not before some of my units get to fire off some shots. Get my pike coming in on the flank. Native American warriors. Go on, Royal Highland Grenadiers, the first Iron Brewers, engage that warrior society. Get my pikes charged through to the tribesmen. You guys need to run back, really. The heavy cavalry can try and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a warrior society, but my light cavalry can't really. Cavalry charge the bowmen. You men push along and into the rear of every unit. Looks like someone's going to try fleeing. Garrison Bowman. Oh, is that the Levon Losbergs? Levon Losbergs. Pike, where are you pikemen going? Oh, 
quite sure where the pikemen think they're going. Get the Highlander Warband. Get the Light Dragoons against the Warrior Society. Attacking my cavalry. Get these units to form up into a line. Get my light infantry involved in that line. Clan Makata charge the enemy. Native American warriors are down. Enemy cavalry have been shattered. Swiss pikes run over here. Oh, see my cavalry. <laughs> Shrapnel shot against the cavalry here. It's not done terribly, especially if it makes them rout. Might lose my last unit of how well, lose my howitzers, but fair enough. Where's the fun if I don't have an actual interesting battle to end the campaign on? Oh, <laughs> my own shrapnel shot knocked out the the last artillery team. You men, that's kind of screwed you guys up. The Light Dragoons advance with Fire at Will on. Get this regiment of line to attack the flank. Got some grenadiers in good condition. George, it's George Wade. George Wade, take control of the right flank. Charlie's Scots Greys are gunning down Swarry Society as they advance in. Ah, light infantry, fire it well on, my friends. Engage the native bowmen on the flank. They're shattered. Bowmen have returned. George Wade, get over here to help fight the bowmen. Those men are shattered. Continue the advance. So they're engaging Clan Makada. They've, they've earned that mighty stone bonnet of the Clan Makada. Charge on, attack the garrison bows. More bowmen on the flank, looking to get some sneaky action going on. And George Wade... Advance forward and knock out those guns. Send our line up to scout the enemy. Collectively, these two cavalry units should do just fine against the bowmen, because they are bows are skirmish units. Hello, heavy cavalry. Let's get you up here at full speed. See you need a bowman that does not want to uh, stick around. Let's get the Scots Greys up. Fire it will on. Heavy cavalry push to the left. We will engage the bowman with musket fire and George Wade. Take out that gun! team of guns. Oh, they bounced over my Rifleman's Royal Brigade. Skirmishes no longer have a need to engage. Ceasefire. George Wade himself has come in 
and shattered the native artillery. Good stuff. So we have drawn them out into battle on the fields before their capital. We've lost a unit of howitzers. Your orders, your majesty. But we will take howitzers from the reinforcing army. So my line infantry that's not named can be replaced. They will be replaced by... Let's take a unit of uh, Irish volunteers or Coldstream guards. Let's get some Coldstream guards in there. So these men have made our bridgehead, if you like. Everyone else advance around <laughs> to protect it. We could just attack it with another army, but I want to do it with my named force. I mean, to be honest, does George Wade deserve the honour? No. Named army. Let them re let them replenish. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Intercept by George Wade, which isn't what we want. Intercept by George Wade, which isn't what we want. Intercept by Curtis Patterson, but no, I'm going to let them gather. Let them gather their full strength. As I have gathered mine <laughs> outside of their capital. Yeah, a bit of time to replenish, but everyone everyone can take a bit of time. Let's hit and turn again. Oh no. <laughs> Fine Russia. So normally I like to have a my safe my save games be in good condition so that I can go back and be like, look, that's an entire world domination campaign. That ain't gonna happen no more. Because of that. <laughs> like, they can run around and raid, sure, but they ain't gonna take Kazan, and they ain't gonna get through Adam Shaw to get to Astrakhan. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fight up here, because everyone's, everyone's replenished, so Curtis Patterson lead the attack against. Yankton, we will destroy them, then we will fight our last battle against the Russians, because why not? Because the campaign save file is already, um, it's already corrupted now. It, well, it will be corrupted once the battle is over. So I, I can't stop now. I can't stop, um, I could, well, I, I could record another episode, but I couldn't save the campaign, close it and open it up again, because then it, then that's when it will fall over let's do this so that scene in um, Dune when they just run at each other that's going to be this I have there's nothing to lose and I'm bringing in a unit of Coldstream guards I'm actually you know what let's entire line run forward just like <laughs> Just like that scene in Dune, when well, I'm not I'm not going to say when because people might not have seen it. It's a really really nice piece of music in the background, with um, you know I never realised how much I needed electro bagpipes in my life until I saw Dune. Although someone's probably going to tell me that electro bagpipes exist, that's just called an accordion or something like that. <laughs> oh, oh well. Everyone's running in. That's why I wanted to put my melee infantry into the line. Even my shark. Even people that aren't supposed to be fighting. Could go horribly wrong, but I think it's a interesting way to play the campaign. Green jackets as well. <laughs> so my pikemen obviously are going to be incredibly important because they're just going to run from 
fight to fight. Yeah, Highlander Warband. Green Jackets aren't going to do so great against... No, Highlander Warband fight the Tribal Gunners. Hey, the dog, sh dog soldiers can dismount. let people just keep on charging you want to fight with you want to fight with knives we can fight with knives I mean my 95th are not probably not gonna like well they're mounted tribal gunners they could do it let's give them a bit of support everyone else is <laughs> it's pretty damn great that guy was so happy he fell off his horse let's turn off the artillery now That's right, Chief's bodyguard. What do you make of this? All your precious soldiers, your your warriors, do not give a single solitary damn about all these red coats charging into them. But they don't give a single damn that your gen that the general is here, except for those ones. Enemy general's been killed. It's Clan Makada. Making it a foot heading full speed into the garrison bows. Dog soldiers are engaging another unit of bows. Come on, Clan Makada. They're running. They're running. Dog soldiers in the distance they've dismounted have been charged down by the cavalry and they've also broken. The bows are going to fire a volley. No, they aren't. In come the Scotsmen. The dog soldiers have ran such that Charlie Scott's greys are also going to hit the bowmen. And they too are shattered. <laughs> just <laughs> just absolutely ran over them heroic victory for my named force good stuff <laughs> very well and then let's go over to the east because the russians couldn't just wait for a turn could they they had to do it we're going to attack the city here at ufa and destroy the last enemy in this great Britain campaign. And it's been it's been pretty good. I mean, I think I might have overdone it with the amount of armies I've produced, but you know, I kind of needed them. I don't think. Well, I didn't need them for India. I, from my experiences in campaigns like in, against like with Italy and Louisiana, I was like, no, I definitely need a good amount of troops to attack India. And then when I got there, it's kind of like, oh no, that's fine. Like, oh, sweet. We all make them pay. We're going to quick line this lot. And this is a force with not a lot of cavalry. So we are going to be swarming the hillside with infantry. Let's get my general over here. All these, look at all these uh, clusters of troops. When Quicklime lands over here, if it does land over here, one of them was targeted to attack over here, wasn't it? I'm sure it was. There it is. Oh, I think it wasn't quite the devastating shot I'd like. Yes, we're going to thin these Russians out good. I'm going to teach them to declare war on us just before when we're about to conquer the world. Because they got a lot of troops. Where else are we going to blow away in? It 
to... I don't actually have any mortars or anything, so I might just advance up. It will give, it will cause me to have more losses against their artillery from the fort. The gunners are going to fire another volley, which is perfect. By the time they reload... unit got smacked. Actually, what might happen is I might get my... these guns to continue attacking this section, some howitzers to attack this section, and then see how if we can trap any. Because that would be quite a coup. I mean, disregarding the potential destruction from the uh, the the, um, the steps to the rear collapsing that will cause some good losses one of them didn't miss but again there's no one there to destroy now how it says they're a crack are working on that section of the breach and the intention is when we knock out that section. We killed a couple of guys. I want to see if I can trap if I can trap men on the wall. So this isn't the strongest. I mean there's a nice cluster that I could be quick climbing the bejesus out of, but at the very least, once we've made our breach, then that's when we can start doing some really good quick line damage. Ooh, that section might kill some men. Yeah, we're going to kill some here when the howitzer's shots land. Or at least in theory, could lose, they lose a handful of chaps here. But I want to see, there we go, They now they've gone down. Okay, now they're firing. Or well, they're going to fire, I'm sure. I thought I saw the animation of people crouching down to get away from the guns, like that, but I didn't. Boom, 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 boom! That would be quite the coup if we could trap. Well, I mean, we do a huge amount of damage to the 29th and the 2nd Regiment. Boom! Excellent, look at that. So this artillery just keep attacking, keep dropping shots into the centre here. Howitzers, we'll quick climb our way out of this. Everyone else, form a kill box outside of the wall. And then take advantage of that to just shoot the crap out of them. Because they're not going to want to stay up there being bombarded all the time. Which is what's going to happen. Yeah, you got their own set of horse artillery. They're trying to hit us with shrapnel shot. Don't think it's got quite the same impact. Especially when I send three units around the right flank here. Silly Russians. There we go. That's a lot of that's a good number of troops, and especially as it's Garrison Line Infantry Unit, this unit of special line infantry now no longer exists, and the second regiment here are now stuck, because half of them are on one side of the wall and half of them are on the other. So you men start running. Same with you chaps. To be honest, actually, I should quick climb this massive clump right here. Yeah, he missed. But the other ones should be firing any moment now. Hmm. 
There we go, shells away. Oh, that woke him up. To a degree. Keep working on the troops in the centre, because we've got... A good clump here. They're going to try and scale the wall and engage these men. Regiment of foot on the flank trying to do some damage to us, but not really. Be a nod to Russia. Yeah, there they go. They're, they're coming in. They're coming in, all right. <laughs> These units at the front are finally starting to break and beginning to push out. We got all the time in the world, Russia. Got all the time in the world. Yeah, they've lost this gate because we're laying another infantry unit get into position let's run our cavalry round to the rear yeah, you men just get over here and provide bodies provide bodies for the attack up the wall the men at the centre here are already starting to run out of gas Go. We've lost one unit. Oh. That unit died as well. There, we're clearing out the 6th Regiment. Okay, so your mercenaries. What do we want to do? Well, you men charge and attack the Grenadiers. You men charge and attack the Cossacks. There we go, we're starting to make a make some inroads here. Got more men marching up. I mean that's not not never gonna end well. Gotta get in now. What's they got to? This this could also go wrong, but why not? Why not for a bit of good fun? Okay, we're still sending men up the wall. The men that are getting sent up the wall aren't happy about it. Change our round shot to our how it's fired to quick climb. And this this unit also advance in like so. You attack the Cossacks from that flank, let this unit advance up and start pouring round shot into the enemy. Swarm, swarm, attack pattern alpha. I mean, all these men are going to die. They're not going to fight all those Russians together. But what if... I were to push another unit up the wall. Oh, 
So if you men can form up and blast the 4th Regiment with musket fire. I don't know why my howitzers are firing. If we get the 12th Regiment up the wall... They will begin to push around and do the work for me. If you guys can isolate and destroy the Cossacks enough. Not till they're dead, but just enough. Which they are doing. There we go. Try and attack the Russians in the rear. See how they like it. Militia are finally wavering. The Swiss Guard are still fighting. Splendid fellows. Bla brave heroes. Enemy general's been killed. Okay. You fought. You, you don't need to be... You don't need to stay there to handle the um, Cossacks. This unit can defeat the Cossacks alone. You men charge into the center to help out my cavalry. You men get over here to help the men currently fighting on the wall. So I have sent them completely willingly into a slaughter. Get my infantry to start to pick off their armed citizenry. So who is here? Cossacks cavalry. Arm citizenry and general's bodyguard. The general's bodyguard has fallen. Oh, they're down to 15 Cossacks remaining. And we're beginning to have control over the center. I might push a line infantry unit through this combat, or maybe two of them, through the combat with the militia. Begin to send support to the Guardsmen, plus the 12th. You men charge into the 4th, because now you've pretty much destroyed them. The 21st are down to 8 men remaining. The 4th have destroyed... The 160th have destroyed the 4th with musket fire. A little bit of Cossack cavalry remaining, but now we've got some infantry in there. I should thin them out. There's only three Cossacks left. I'm not entirely sure where they are. Swiss guards and infantry are still there. They're trying to kill my general. 112th have routed, finally, understandably fight a true bloody battle. There we go, we've dealt with the Cossacks. you got a handful of the 4th Regiment of Infantry, the 107th. Send them in to charge into the rear of the 13th. Sword held aloft by the officer. It's the 13th and the 19th. You fools. Let's get my infantry back to the square because I realize we've actually just stopped catching it. You men continue to attack the 4th Regiment very experienced cluster of men but however there's only four of them remaining so they will not be allowed to continue a large amount of men have died fighting on the walls but lots more green than red at least or mine are all stacked up on top of each other but we've really squashed the numbers down here but there we go the last Russian territory 
has been captured and so ends my Great Britain campaign. We now own the entire world. There we go, but that's gone really quite successfully compared to some of my other campaigns. Um, some of them it's a bit more backwards and forwards, but Great Britain's always a, a strong faction in pretty much every Total War campaign. Let's have a look at my income. So if I disbanded every army on the globe, I'd be bringing in 572,799 gold a turn. So we're nearly five, roughly you know, five, seven, five thousand. Half, more than half a million um, a turn. Vast majority is going on to my army. My navy is like a bargain in comparison. In terms of objectives yeah, we own 137 out of 50 victory conditions. In terms of prestige there is only us. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. At the same time this, well maybe half, oh no, at the same time this comes out I'll also be releasing a faction vote video so please go check that out and uh, get your votes in for the next campaign so thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time